episode 45 of Socratic Gamers Podcast in the books. Yep. Um, if you like what we hear, support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Socratic Gamers. And get our merchandise yet? Merchandise is on shop.gallinthefire.com. Pick up some teas on Teespring, support the podcast. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, like, share, subscribe if you like what we hear for yes. more content. Even comment. Comment. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Boom, we are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. Uh, this is episode 45. Um, if you listen to the last one, we talked about Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh and his amazing superpowers of, uh, mm-hmm. of manipulation. Uh, so we just wanted to continue off that one because we realized like, at the end of it, we're like, oh wait, we didn't actually talk about everything we wanted to with this one. So um, some things that we missed from last time would be uh, the military force, how they were able to um, coerce their way into, not really coerce, but like, like you know how they like figured out a way to create their own like police system? Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. Well, it's I like, mean, they got into their, the police force in a sense and took over, right? Is that? Uh, well, it, it said that they, the they created their own I, I oh, guess, right. well, because cause it was a part of the city, right? So, like, the city, mm-hmm. the town of Rajneesh was able to create its own, like, town force, so yeah. similar to, like, a sheriff, I guess. Okay. Um, but that's already kind of, like, sketch because it's, like, the controversy surrounding, um, like, what what levels of power they have. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like they could, they could take it too far, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so that, 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 was, that was pretty intense. I'm surprised the the U.S. government allowed that at the time, you know. Uh, I guess it was like a small town. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, another another pretty intense one was uh, the poisoning through salmonella. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that's pretty nuts. Like that's pretty crazy to intentionally try to change, like the voter turnout by poisoning. Yeah, thousands yeah, yeah, yeah. of people, and and the fact the fact that like it's funny because like you are not a big fan of like uh, open bars, um, like not oh, open bars like uh, like open food bars. Open f- <laughs> yeah. like, you're, you're like oh my god, no, that's dirty. <laughs> Somebody could sneeze on it, something like that. And then when you I'm watch like, that, yeah, you're every, like, for me, it's more like it's all on the kids level. Right, right, right. Because you don't like sometimes you see like kids like holding things and then putting it back. Their parents are like put that back. And they're like oh, whoever's gonna buy that next is. Is uh, cruising for a bruise in there? Yeah, you know. But then, but then they utilize that stuff to make everyone sick by by spreading salmonella through uh, through those open open bars. Uh-huh. Oh, oh yeah, it makes you almost like distrust it. But it's like whatever, you know. Like, <laughs> I'm surprised they went that far to like spread the salmonella. You know, I, I heard there was like oh, yeah. a distribution system like in their hands, so that like when they like it was said in the doc, but like when uh-huh. they ran their hand over it, it sprayed salmonella. Oh, yeah, they have like, oh, they have like a mechanism. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 Those people were crazy. And another thing that um, that they did was the presidential candidate assassination attempt, when they uh, tried to skew the oh yeah presidential yeah. candidacy by trying yeah. to kill one of the the candidates. That that was pretty nuts. They really wanted to take over in a sense. Yeah, they like, did. They, and and they're saying they were saying even in the doc that it's like. Um, that they, uh, oh, what did they do? They they soon they they wanted everyone to wear red, right, in the town, and then soon, the city, the state would be red, and then soon the whole country would be red, something like that. Like they're spreading their message throughout. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the people were crazy. Yeah, it's it, and speaking of it. speaking of the people, uh, the final one was uh, how the guy at the end was like writing that book on Osho. <laughs> yeah, and, like. Uh, like even after all these years, he's still like in love with him, you know. Still believes in his teachings. Like he told him like so long ago to do this. Yeah, true, true, true. I mean, yeah, he's, he's like doing it. it nearing his end. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> Which yeah, is yeah. funny. But I wonder if that was like a decision where it's like, if I do it near the end of my life, like I've only got a few years left. Mm-hmm. But like, I, what one thing that struck me was like, why did they want to take on this doc in the first place? You know what I mean? Like. Like, what were people's reasonings? Like, what did what did the doc people? Because like, I don't think the people who made the doc they never gave away what the doc was about, right? 
Right. They're just like, oh, we're making a documentary on Osho. Like, mm-hmm. do you want to be a part of it? Yeah. Tell, tell your story. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like the the manipulation on that side where it's like, we're not going to tell you what the twist is. And then I wonder if he watches it and he's like, oh, my God, this is messed up. Because <laughs> you know? like unless you sign like a, a final viewing rights or something like that, like you're you're like lost. Like they can do whatever they want with the footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because mm. like. It's weird that like people were so like open, not not really like the townspeople because I agreed with them, uh, but like it was more like that guy that was gonna write the book. Like they made him seem yeah. like a freaking intense lover of <laughs> Osho. Yeah, he yeah. still was. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty. Yeah, at the end, yeah. Yeah, but what can you do? All right, so you might notice that we are playing a new game. Uh, Vish wanted to pick this one up. It's called Surviving Mars. Okay, so what's the what's the premise of the game? Like, can you give us a quick rundown? Uh, so you're basically the main point is trying to colonize Mars. Okay, cool. So it's like it's made by and Elon Musk. <laughs> no, but uh, I I think they're using like real real science for the most part in the beginning at least. Oh no way! Like to oh, send that's cool. so it's like kind of like sending the drones to. Is like The Martian like that movie? Uh, well the the movie. They already had done the stuff. Yeah, 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 but like with that, right? But they're using the logic associated. Well, with they're the using what what potentially what we could we might be doing is sending drones, sending already like shipments. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then setting something up, and then uh, when we send the people, uh, we'll have we'll have some of the stuff already ready. To work oh, on. is that the strategy for Mars? Like drones would build it, and then people will come and populate. I could be, but I mean, like, uh, or you know, both together at the same time. Oh, but that's like it. that's like yeah. a you're dead. Like once you once you've decided to go on the Mars mission, it's like your life's done. There's no coming back. Uh, no, that's not true. Oh, really? Yeah, and that's what that's what reverse rocket thrusters. Uh, no, no, no. Because the way that Elon wants to do it is send two cargo missions prior to the human missions, right? Okay. So you already make the cargo or whatever your cargo you're leaving is a way a method of uh, refueling the rockets. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And it's not like they don't have Mars doesn't have as thick of an atmosphere as Earth, so you don't have. So to it's a little bit more so easier fast. to yeah, to yeah, yeah. Uh, to get off. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of cool. The planet, yeah. Nice. So it's not you know end all be all for the first people that go there. So. Right, right, right. So is this is this why you are so in, enticed by the game? Yeah, yeah, because they really try to I think add like the like the science bit of it, uh, and then. Uh, See how these drones are like all working and doing their thing. Yeah, true. I, I do like how you, or if you're listening to this right now, like definitely this is one of those episodes where if you're wondering what's going on with this segment, you should uh, you should definitely check out the YouTube video right yeah. now because we're <laughs> watching Vish play the game simultaneously. But yeah, I like how you get to zoom in. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you get to really zoom in. I think there's like photo mode and stuff. You ever play StarCraft? Uh, I think I did. I think is, you you is gave like... me a copy. I'm like, I, I didn't think I really enjoyed that one. <laughs> Oh, I see. I, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think these are a little bit more. This is more like Sims based versus like competition based, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're like not really competing opponent. with anyone here. I hear people still play StarCraft. Oh, they do. Yeah, yeah, They're right. It's still end. a big thing. Man, I would, I would jump back on StarCraft. I <laughs> love that game. It was so good. It was so good. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. So, so this is more like the docile version of StarCraft because like you're on a. Uh, no, it's more of a sim. Planet. You would say Sims or. Uh, it's more like sim simulation yeah, yeah, yeah. method, like how we could potentially do it on here. For yeah. sure. Okay, cool. Like you can choose different difficulties. So right, I chose like the easier one, which is the international one. So you have the most money. So you have multiple times you can bring things from Earth. Oh, I get right? it. I get you it. You can get the it. way it goes. Harder it goes is like choosing individual countries who have not enough money in their space. But they want to. But they like, want to. Like yeah. So oh. it's like that's like your heart. That's funny. That's exactly how life is. You know, you gotta find funding. Yeah. I was reading in the 48 Laws of Power, There's, uh, there, they talk about Christopher Columbus, and one thing they were saying, like, uh, I'm not going to go into the power mm-hmm. aspect, but they brought up a story about Christopher Columbus, and it was all about how he had to, like, lobby for money to yeah. go uh, explore. Oh, yeah, yeah, of you know, course. It's sort of like this, you know? It's like, we're lobbying for money to explore this as well. Mm-hmm. And I find, I find it's like, I, I don't know if you said this, but, like, uh, space is our next version of, like, the great voyage you know? yeah yeah yeah. i think yeah we've we've always been explorers explorers yeah, yeah, yeah. looking for learning new land for sure for sure so yeah, this yeah. will be a new 
a very new thing for us if we end up going to Mars and colonizing it. Yeah, yeah that's really cool. I um, I think, I think within our lifetime we'll see people for sure on uh, Mars. Possibly, yeah. Very soon. Yeah, but uh, so you would rate the game. I'm giving this a good game. It's 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 a long game, of course. It's a, oh, it's a long game. Oh, is there no end to the game? Yeah, uh, potentially not until you. I guess the end would be when you lose everyone. <laughs> oh. When you bring in the so like it gets really hard once you bring in the people. Like right now, it's easier to work with drones. They're just recharging their battery. Oh. Right. Oh, I get it. Once but you bring the humans, that's kind of where it starts. Because if people have like you got to deal with food, emotions. Uh, yeah, you do have to morale. deal with emotions. Yeah, that's morale. Sick. Yeah. And then you're gonna get your first Martian-born baby, and then no like, all these sort of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're oh, gonna bring, cool. yeah, build dr- dr- no domes and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the the dome aspect is just like Total Recall. Um, you remember the movie with uh, not the new one, but the old one with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? I don't remember much of it. Yeah. But like, but it I s- to, yeah, yeah, on Mars, yeah. and they had domes. I, I think, like, yeah, I, it's not like a new idea. It's I think domes is like the best way to try and create like for some, sure, yeah, biodomes. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. sure. Especially what that is, yeah. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Uh, so you rate it a definite buy? Of course, yeah. Oh. If you're into this stuff. Like spacey yeah. kind of things? Like right now, these guys need power. i got to figure that out. <laughs> oh, interesting. All right, well, speaking of things that uh, we also need to check out, you introduced me to Looming Tower recently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, what? all right, so a side note to that one is it's pretty interesting that uh, uh, Netflix – so like my is what my my uh, no my aunt she uh, she said like Netflix is kind of like a bunch of movies that I don't want to watch, you know, and then I was think <laughs> I, I think it depends on which country you're in. <laughs> That's true too. Yeah, we yeah, do yeah. Canada doesn't really have that great of a content versus you have, like, the US. So, but there's so many movies and you're just like you're like eh, I don't want to see that I don't want to see that I don't want to see. I think we spend most of our time picking out things we don't want to see versus things we do want to see, you know what I mean? And uh, when when you introduced me to Amazon Prime. Uh, PrimeVideo.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's yeah, yeah, Prime Video. Yeah, sure. yeah. It, yeah. It, I, I was like, it was a bunch of movies that I had forgotten about being good. You know what I mean? Oh, like, I see. like there were a bunch of movies that were like really good, but like they're old. Mm-hmm. That's the only deficit there. I do like how Amazon Prime. If you scroll over it while they're watching, uh, is total like side note. By the way, yeah. it's not actually about Living Tower, but uh, yeah. So like, I like how if you scroll over, it shows you actors in the scene yeah that's pretty cool yeah yeah it's pretty innovative um looking forward to checking out more from amazon prime but anyways so <laughs> okay. moving towers on amazon prime not on netflix so if you're wondering like oh how do i check well out? it's not only on amazon it's, it's, i think it's on some channel i don't know what channel yeah, yeah but i mean you're not gonna but get like on netflix. Uh, you know nowadays everybody's watching it on their internet so exactly exactly so and, and when people yeah. are like oh like like do you have netflix <laughs> now now it's some like do you have amazon prime you know? right because they're they're differentiating their content that way, so yeah. But yeah, so uh, looming tower. You want to give us a quick rundown? Uh, so if you want to know what happened prior to nine eleven, basically, uh, well, it's not. It's Black based on uh, actual facts that no, no, yeah, what yeah, the yeah. FBI was doing, what the CIA were doing, For sure. and it's not like it was. It's not like 9-11 was necessarily a shock for these guys. Yeah, for sure. It, it, so. it's, it was the road to 9-11. It's like, yeah. it's like 9-11 didn't just happen. If you're, all right, if you're wondering, if you're like super young, you're listening to this, what's 9-11? Uh, when we were... Tw- That's true, yeah. That's 12? Cool. <laughs> How old were we? Uh, I remember 12? I was like probably grade 9 or 10. Oh, I was in grade 8. I was in grade 8. Okay. I was in grade 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember that. They sent us home early. Um, <laughs> they sent you home. I don't yeah. think we were sent home. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, we, we got sent home, and then uh, me and my friend, uh, we stood outside, and we're like, we were just fantasizing about other things that could be, like, hey, what if you had a scene tower, bro? <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. Uh, but yeah, so like, and nobody was outside that day. It was so sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got to go home early. It was awesome. Well, not, I mean, those pers- dualities, right? Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. As yeah. a kid, you're like, this is sick, but like, the reality of their situation is pretty bad. And it spiraled from there then on. Actually, that's that's when um, it became more of a military state, uh, military country. After, yeah. Uh, like, 9-11 was, like, the impetus to everything. Yeah. Or at least we'd say. I Would you say, like, I mean, because I, people, I think so. I think that was the trigger. Yeah, because they were actually in, in yeah, our yeah. in their home. Yeah. 
because the way that the show looks like they were really at least some of the at least the FBI was more like we don't want to like do oh, know, so, so, yeah, yeah, yeah but before things. you go into it basically yeah. um, the show is about uh, the road to 9-11 the things that led up to it because like 9-11 oh yeah so I didn't finish that thought so um, 9-11 is basically when the two twin towers fell the planes went into them and uh, actually you know there was a third tower tower seven three towers fell it wasn't just two yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't yeah. know that yeah I uh, did, it's did not know that. <laughs> um, and then one it was a smaller also, building, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then one went into um, one went into the Pentagon as well. But it, they didn't like they didn't hit that tower, yet, you know. Yeah, what do you mean? They didn't hit that tower? Oh, it just fell. Oh uh, yeah, because of the other ones. Yeah. What? I think so. Oh, that's pretty. It's, they only hit two towers, the the two tall ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what yeah. I remember. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. then the third one just fell because it was hot. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I think is the impact from the other two as they were falling. Okay, I won't go. I, into I have no idea. I won't go into I, I conspiracies think so. of that one because a lot of people don't believe. Like the whole thing is like <laughs> Tower Seven, right? And like yeah. people, people believe that that was an inside job, Tower Seven. Mm-hmm. You can look that up. We won't go into that. And same with the whole uh, Pentagon thing. There's some crazy, wacky conspiracies around that one. We won't go into that one either. <laughs> but basically, the show is about what led to the 9-11 and it's really got me it got me hooked it's it's only got seven episodes on um amazon prime right now and um yeah i'm on episode three it's super you finished it right away as you usually do <laughs> yeah <laughs> but uh it's, anything that interests me like he's like get into it and obsess yeah that. basically but uh yeah so the the things about uh what led to it and what I like is how they splice a lot of footage from, like, real footage. You were telling me this, like, real footage and, like, fake footage. They put, like, yeah. so, like, Osama had, or Usama, as he's known. I didn't know that was, they were, like, UBL. Oh, there's two, like, yeah. Oh, that was O, Osama, not Usama. But, yeah, UBL, yeah. He, uh, he, I had, don't know how that happened, but, yeah. yeah he, he had an interview um, on a British show, and then they show it in the show, but they mm-hmm. make it seem like it's a part of the show, like they filmed it for the show. It's really cool. Oh yeah, I like yeah, the yeah. effects that they did on that one. It was pretty clever. Uh, but yeah, one thing that it taught me, but I kind of knew this, but then like seeing it, it's kind of like, oh, it's totally real, because um, you hear about it all the time, like uh, controvert, like like there's like in group, out group, even within the government. So like the CIA and the FBI were fighting for information, and yeah. that's what messed everything up, allegedly. You know. Yeah. Uh, so I, I like that like they really they really showed America's mess up on that part I really like how they were saying how um, the Monica Lewinsky things like a smoke screen it allowed them to like press on the CIA further. especially yeah yeah because all right so CIA is all about controlling intelligence central intelligence agency and that's where yeah. like the spies are mm-hmm. FBI is like the cops right like they, they get things done they like to yeah. you know like different different groups right so they're fighting for information because like the CIA wanted to work their way up the ladder mm-hmm. to get bigger fish and the FBI wanting to arrest everyone because that's what their their tendency is like catch the bad guys right right but CIA is all about like creating connections so they can catch bigger bad guys mm-hmm. later so yeah, like, yeah more deception based and uh, you see that a lot in the show which I thought was really cool yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. like they, they oh, hated yeah. each other and stuff <laughs> what what do you like about the show uh, I just think you know adding the real factual aspects into the show is i think really cool with is, a little, is with a little a bit of drama i think because you do need to kind of yeah it's, all right so so yeah that that's true that is one aspect because you, you did warn me about that you're like it's a really sick show but there's some <laughs> drama which i don't think you'll like so i'm not a big fan of drama which is kind of weird because like as a kid i was i loved like rom-coms <laughs> okay i was like obsessed with drama as a kid but then now i guess like you get older and you're just like oh, i did that once a child like, i'm not into it anymore mm-hmm. so like uh like you, you did warn me about like the um the cheating fbi agent yeah, 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 like yeah the, the yeah, drama yeah, surrounding yeah, it really create the drama yeah yeah like, i guess it's like put in there for the human element they don't do it too much so it's like it's pretty good in mm-hmm. that regard you know so it's like it's like it's tolerable yeah like they they just give you enough drama to hook other people i personally would have liked it if it was just facts like if it was a total documentary um Speaking of documentaries, and since we talk about OSHA, I think I think with documentaries you do cut out a lot of people from watching that. 
for sure. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 true. It's sort of like books, like books. Yeah. Um, so like, if you want to learn something really interesting, sometimes you have to read about it. But who's really going to do the work of reading? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because like, the, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a not a gate gateway, but it's like um, an obstacle. You know, right? Like a challenge. But so uh, speaking of docs, just quick segue again. Uh, is Ram Dass's doc is coming out? I'm uh-huh. stoked for that one. <laughs> you, you were watching the you were watching the trailer. Yesterday, yeah, what was going on? And I peered and... over and I was like, "Is that Ram Dass?" Yeah. Like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> and I, but yeah, so it's like it's perfect timing to the Osho one. Hopefully, it's not like as controversial. I, I, I don't think like, it looked like the trailer didn't seem to look like that. Controversial. Yeah. Yeah. No, like Ram Dass is supposed to be really good. Like he's he's not like a allegedly. But I, right. don't, really, I don't really know. Like, we'll see when we watch it. <laughs> But yeah, he's um right. he's a big, big spiritual guy. Yeah. But yeah, maybe we'll talk about that in the next one if I watch it. Anyways, I, well, when does come out? I guess we'll comes out next week. Is it next week? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So, I see. That's the thing I like about Netflix. What? They just show the trailer kind of soon to when their thing is released. Yeah, because I hate it when it's like it's like <laughs> oh next one's coming out like like movies. next year. <laughs> yeah, with, with like so many months. Later. Oh my god, and you get like. Video games and movies are notorious for that. They build the hype, and you're just like, oh, god damn it. Well, they kind of they have to, right? True. They, they want to build, like, not, not for movies or for games, more like the pre orders and stuff like that. True, true, true. Yeah, yeah pre sales. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so Looming Tower, definitely a good one. Oh, yeah. De- if you have Amazon Prime. But there's also a book, because I remember when it's funny, because I listened to Brian Callen on Joe Rogan, and he was, he's talking about Looming Tower, and I was like, oh, okay, so I put it on my Amazon wish list. And then you're like, <laughs> Hey, have you seen Looming Tower? I'm like, uh, I th- I've heard of it. <laughs> and then when I was going through my, like, because I was buying books, and then I yeah. saw it, I was like, oh, yeah, like, there it is. Yeah, so it, it's a book, not yeah. just a... Um, That's funny. Not just a TV show. Right. But I guess for... To put I, it on is TV, based on the book, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I guess yeah. to put on TV, they have to add some drama. This is what I prefer, it. so... Yeah. <laughs> but the drama, again, the drama is tolerable, so it's definitely worth checking out. You get to see... So this is one, one of the things that... Um, it's funny because like, we're thinking about good and evil, right? And it's like, mm-hmm. I just see... So, like, one thing that was, like, kind of hammered in in, like, during business school was that, like, governments are kind of, like, giant corporations as well. You know? It's uh, like they're, yeah, they're, somewhere, yeah. No, no, because they all, they all run off, like, money, right? So, uh, so, so they'll, yes. they'll do economic things where it's like... Uh, so, like, America will do... Um, so one of the uh, I forgot what the it's not necessarily them running out. It's more like for creating the businesses for others, right? You're helping more like the business community. Yeah, but no, no, because I think government is more of a service. The the government is there to help make the country the best it can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. the best, the only way you can do that is through economics. Yeah. Right, so that's why I said it's like it's it's like business minded. In a way, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's like what they went to war for, like spoiler alert, oil in, uh, for oil <laughs> in Looming Tower. They kind of like make mention of that stuff, like it's like a did they was is it uh, talk about oil? I've heard that so many times. Like they just went into Iraq for the oil. Blah, blah, blah. No, I don't think they mentioned that. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I don't think so. You hear that all the time. Again, is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? It just is what it is. I mean. One thing that we can't get too caught up about is like when when people like hate on this kind of stuff, mm-hmm. it's like, but I like my technology, so you know, because like if you didn't have if you didn't have competition, if you didn't have negativity, then you wouldn't be able to progress. You need right. We need like hardship, yeah, to press forward, you know. Um, so yeah, so um, uh, countries run like businesses. What I was gonna say is that they um, they do this thing uh, where they'll put their factories. I it was like the Maldives or something like that. They put their factories there, and then because it has lower lower uh, taxes, and then like um, like the corporations will do this. Mm-hmm. They'll have like lower taxes, and then um, uh, uh, then then you have like lower workers because you have to pay like less, right? Yeah. And then if the Maldives is like, no, we don't want you to do this anymore. Your regulations are bad. And they're like, okay, we'll just pull our factories out of your country. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then it's like, um, you know, then it's like, well, you're like strong arming them. Yeah. Because I mean. it's like, you're <laughs> right. And then, and then 
our our government's not going to really do anything because it's like, well, it makes our government's GDP high, so got to do what you got to do, you know? Yeah. 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 I mean, it's a world economy, so. Exactly, exactly. We all joined so, into this. It, totally, totally. So when you, when you watch, like, uh, Leaning Tower and you're like, oh, like, how could people be like this? Like, mm-hmm. good and bad. It's like they're really just playing off of beliefs because if you watch Looming Tower, it's like, well, the – the um, terrorists have their own belief system, you know. Yeah. They're like, oh, the Americans are infidels, blah, blah, blah. They're like terrible people. But it's like, yeah, but Americans are saying the same thing about you, bro. <laughs> you know, so it's like, who's right, who's wrong? And I see their point, too. It's like, yeah, I, I could see how we're based off of greed, yeah, you know. And then they use it through the guise of, like, religion. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, to, yeah, like, yeah. There's, there's, all, the reason there's a lot stuff. more. I don't think they're going to get into this backstory of how Al Qaeda was even created. Oh, they won't? I don't think that they're getting it's in into the book th- though. Is, it, is that in the book? Allegedly it's in the book. Yeah. So it may be in the book, but the story is focused on a specific like time, right? Right, right, right. 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 So they're not going back to Ronald Reagan, they're going to Clinton. That's where they started. Right, 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 right. Right. So if you really want to know about that, that's that's a different story. <laughs> yeah, definitely check into the books. Yeah. But speaking of uh influence mm-hmm. it's funny how uh because like now that we're in easter easter weekend we all have holidays it's you know they're like there has to be a separation between church and state it's more in the u.s yeah oh, okay so there's no there's no like i don't know if there's any constitution wise no no no, no 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 like not necessarily constitution wise but like okay as a secular government yeah you as a sec- that's what i'm trying to say yeah, it's yeah. a secular government okay right. if we're allegedly a secular government right then why do we have holidays that push for christian holidays versus other holidays uh like so easter christmas the yeah. government like their actual holidays where you have to be off good friday mm-hmm. we're off yeah you know what i mean but it's like if you're that's that's actually why i love living in um our our asian area because like christmas nobody was closed new year's nobody was closed <laughs> Uh, Good Friday, nobody was close because they're they're all freaking uh, Chinese. I think it's only uh, is it even uh, on Chinese New Year? <laughs> no, it's, they're it's not open. Even close? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, oh I thought you meant are something. they closed or are they? Open? They're probably not even close. Yeah, they they love that hard work. Yeah, no, no, but like, <laughs> but like, um, yeah, 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 you know what I mean? It's like yeah. it's like we we say that we're equals. See, even within an equal government, so how come nobody's championed something like that? You know, they're like uh, everyone's like, oh, equal rights. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like, well, how come Hanukkah is not a government-sanctioned holiday? How come Kwanzaa is not? How come Chinese New Year is not? Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like coming at it from that perspective, it's 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 hard to argue for equality, to make the argument for equality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know who makes these holidays, but... Well, it goes, <laughs> goes back in history because the Christians were the ones who really pushed everything forward right like um the spanish uh-huh. the uh-huh. spaniards who well, not all holidays well most forward. holidays yes they are i know the one that we added new in was it february F- family day <laughs> yeah but that's that's not really like a, that's not a religious holiday that's a secular holiday yeah but the are they just trying to make holidays per month like no, one day 100%, 100%. give you a long weekend yeah 100 <laughs> percent. but what i'm saying is like how come they're the religious holidays not secular holidays even though we claim to be a secular equal I don't know country. but there's something different like at the university York University okay they do Jewish holidays oh really yeah okay but yeah but still that's like a small that's like a small drop in the big pond yeah, you know, yeah it's yeah. like one school okay fine but what about like the actual country itself mm-hmm you know well, what I mean? it's like can, it's kind of you know, interesting like if, if you, you want to that, do that you got to go your to your government and ask for that stuff. exactly and but what I'm saying is like it's like even on a scale of arguing for equality, we'll never achieve a sense of equality because there's too many people in the pot, too many minds. Okay. Right? Because, like, you know, like, oh, transgender bathrooms and, like, oh, um, not saying those things are wrong. Like, no, no, push for those, right? But what I'm saying is, like, if you really want to argue equality, well, you have to make everything equal because, by definition, equality means that everything would be equal. Right. Right. But you're not, you're not pushing for all equality. Like, like um, I heard, 
I don't know if this is a rumor, but is it true that they're going to make um, uh, people, like Muslims, t- not wear their hijabs anymore? Uh, it's like the airports or something? I, I heard that somewhere. I don't know about that. The, like, I, the I think coming. there was something in Quebec that was happening. That maybe was maybe that was it. Maybe that was it. Yeah, yeah, I think Quebec. that already happened. Oh, really? So they're not allowed to wear it? Probably in security checks, I think. Yeah, so there you go. Boom. I think, that's, yeah. a, that's technically a quality. Mm-hmm. But it's like, oh, but my right, blah, blah, blah. It's funny because it's like, it's like a double standard. Equality has two meanings. It depends on the person who's perceiving equal rights. Right. Right? It's like, okay, from a Canadian perspective, that's equality because we're all the same. We take off our, mm-hmm. you know, hats, mm-hmm. right? I'm not saying that it's a hat, but I mean, if I was wearing a hat, like, they'd take it off. And just like, they have to take that off, right? But then if you want to go religiously, then it's like, well, then that's not equal because, like, do I it's not like, religious I equal, take... religious equality right? exactly that's what yeah. I'm saying you know? yeah. there's no there's no real equality so everyone pushing for like like equality and like world peace and stuff it's never gonna happen you're <laughs> always gonna have dissenters yeah you know you can never make everyone happy yeah, of course yeah. I mean yeah. that's the world that is the world we live in I guess those are the problems with uh like, uh, like where everyone, you know, different kinds of races, different kinds of cultures live in one spot. What do we do? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. It, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Again, that's why I push for like smaller governments where it's like, again, this is totally never going to happen either. Cause it's like, there's just, that would just be too complex, but like, it'd be more ideal if it was like more tribal, like within a specific area, they have their own laws. Sort of like how Quebec has their own laws juxtaposed to Ontario. Well, kind of, yeah, then we kind of do that already then, right? Uh, no, just for them. Just for them. No, Literally. we have, there's different regulations and stuff like that per province. No, 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 not province. I mean, like, even to the point of cities. Like, mm-hmm. it's like, if there's a, um, like, let's say. You can do that. Really? Yeah, you can push for all these things. Yeah, you, yeah but it's like. It's up to the who you're voting in, right? It's hard to do it. No, no, but I said, so, like, I, I mean, something like this. So, like. Um, Brampton is a majority like they have the the stereotype of being brown it's a brown area right yeah. so what if they started doing like brown holidays n- not Christian holidays mm-hmm. only in that area mm-hmm. right and then in Toronto it's a majority like Christian area let's just say and then they have Christian holidays here but then let's say in Ottawa it's majority Jewish then they have Jewish holidays there but then everything's going to be off yeah, you know, yeah, it's like yeah. that's what I mean about like, like sure you can do like little things, but like, but can you go so far as like no no everyone hears this? Why would I subject myself to what you're suggesting? Right. And and then you have um, like you were saying like your your dad's equality um, perspective where it's like hey we're Canadian now. You're like gotta go. Uh huh. Like you gotta go like you know what I mean? It's like it depends on what side you're looking at for, from. Yeah. Like either either we're all Canadian or we're all individuals. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean we should assimilate to a certain point. But that's why America is a melting pot and allegedly Canada is a mosaic, but it's not really a mosaic, it's an illusion of a mosaic. Whoever makes these terms up are it's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Just yeah. Just, you know. I don't know. <laughs> if you want to make changes, try to make changes, that's all you can do. That's true, and then you you just see who's got the loudest voice. That's really what it'll come down to <laughs> in the end, right? It's like, it's like yeah, like you know what I mean. Like right. n- you're only gonna appeal to the majority, so mm-hmm. it, it's more like majority rule versus equality. That's really what people are talking about, right? Like, um, you know, like like when they're like, oh, we should all like share our resources and like. We should love one another and we should like be a commune, mm-hmm. right? Um, that'll work if if the majority of people think like that. But the majority of people don't think like that. Right. So you know what I'm saying? No, society moves on either way. That's true. It's it's uh, ever Of course. Snake. It's like an octopus. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, so philosophical question of the week. <laughs> um, I had I had two. I had one, uh-huh. but then um, I got I got um, enlightened to a, another question. 
which which was pretty interesting to me. So I thought I'd ask you uh, both because they're kind of short. Not really short, but we'll see you win. So it's bonus. We're going to get two philosophical questions this week. Bonus. Bonus. Sound effects. Okay. Um, so if you could go back in time, would you change anything in life? That's philosophical question of the week. Okay. I think I've answered these things before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. Wait, would you change your past? Uh, no. All right. Why not? Because uh, you don't know if you'll turn out the same way. I agree. I agree. So then here's here's the spin. It depends on if you like who you are at this moment. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I mean. That's what right? I mean. So I said I like I guess I, where I'm at is a, I'm a good, like I'm okay with where I'm at. Exactly, exactly. So it's, it's like a psychological, like, um, yardstick. I think if you're really, yeah, depressed and all that, in the wrong then mentality you, that you want to change, change, then you should change, yeah. Yeah, but like, but... So it's funny how like that kind of question sh- enlightens you to who the person is. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> right. like, it's like if they're like, "Yeah, I would totally change this, this, and this." You're like, "Ooh, you must not like yourself." You know what I mean? Right, right. Like, no, I love myself. Then why would you change anything? Mm-hmm. Right. But then the person that's like comfortable in their own skin, then they're like, "No, I, I wouldn't change anything because I wouldn't be who I am today." Right. <laughs> right. This is kind of funny. Yeah. If you're listening to this, you should ask people, and then you can judge their character accordingly. And, th- and then they'll defend themselves. They'll be like, no, no, I love myself. Right. <laughs> Yet your actions say to otherwise. Right. Yeah. So, all right, that was an easy philosophical question. Very easy. The second philosophical question are, is are ghosts real? What's that? Ghosts. Oh, are, I thought you said, like, are ghosts, like, as one word. <laughs> <laughs> the are ghosts is a Canadian like, team. They the are real. They're made of the people. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Are ghosts real? Uh, in... I think the first question is, what is a ghost? Sure, yeah. All right, so what is a ghost? So there is the um, there's the standard Hollywood version, which is like, boo, you know? like mm-hmm. it's, it's like a soul that has not moved on, okay? That's a spiritual one. Yeah. Do, do you think that a soul that has not moved on is real? No. Well, why not? There's no evidence to this. As I agree with you on this one. Um, what is... What are so then the other one is a ghost could be this is this is the most likely one I've heard but then I had a, another perspective on this and I th- I thought it was really cool um, so are are ghosts no no are energetic frequencies like all right let, let's say mm, let's say let let let's say this let's say an a person gets murdered there and they have like a very traumatic event. Uh-huh. Okay. So would that energetic trauma stay in that area? And I have a great example for this one. Uh, I don't know. What, all right, I don't all right, know what so, that so, all right. Exactly. Because you're like, what does that mean? All right. So my example for this one is, you know how people, they go to like Auschwitz? Aus- Auschwitz. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, um, like, they're like, oh, I can feel the energy there. I can feel the energy there. And then, like, that's the most scientifically logical version of a ghost, you know? Uh-huh. It's like maybe that ghost is like, maybe it's not really a ghost. Maybe it's just like an, an aura that has been stuck in that area. Do you believe in that? No. Why not? I think it's more like what we have made it out to be. If you change up the image... Make it look brighter. Bang. You, I, all right, so this is, I agree with you on this one. <laughs> okay, so, so, okay, the lip, the, not litmus, the thought experiment. Yeah. I just heard of this. Um, so uh-huh. I've been listening to like a lot of uh, Faraz Sahabi recently, and he used thought experiments. Like he's like, I can't really do a test, but I can give you a thought experiment. Okay. And then we can like, we can logically figure this out together. Okay. All right, so what I'm saying is if that's real, Okay, so if so you bring somebody to Auschwitz uh-huh. and they're like, oh, I can feel the energy there, right? Because a lot of bad things happen. Then how come you can jump to Afghanistan where a lot of bad things happen and you can still find children playing? <laughs> Shouldn't they all be, Right, yeah. Right? Because there's been a lot of bad things that have happened there. Probably more terrible things. Mm. You know, people have probably been like chopped up fully, you know, and like all this like craziness. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. How come the children are still playing there? <laughs> right. Right? 
Yeah. That's or like traumatic accidents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are we not driving around the streets being like, oh, like I just felt a hit of sadness. Uh, yeah. Right? So it's like, but the reasoning behind that is because it's about your perspective. Your mm-hmm. mind makes it real. Because you already knew the story of the Auschwitz. Yeah. When you go there, you're going to be like, oh, reverence. Right. But here's, here's another thought experiment. What if you brought a dog there? Mm-hmm. Would the dog crumble into a ball? No. Exactly, because the dog has no idea what <laughs> went on. It's like, I didn't hear this story. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it really depends if you have a preconceived idea of what has transpired. Or yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. yeah. And then that begs the question, what are we? What are we? What are we? Like, who are you? I have a great answer to this one because I was asked this today and I was like, this is what I would say, but like, I just want to hear what you're going to say. Uh, I don't know, like, uh, what do you mean by like, that? Well, like, who, who are you? Who, like, if you want to talk scientifically, I'm a human being. Or like, no, no, but like, who, who, you... who makes up you as a person? Like, wh- what are you? Like, who are you? Who are you? Yeah. Uh, oh, you want to hear mine? Sure. All right, well, I'll give you, because I, I threw that on you. Um, so I am the universe's active awareness dancing within tangible reality. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. But be, all right, you laughed. No, no, no. It's I'm just so laughing. Be- specifically <laughs> correct. <laughs> you, okay, sure. Right? Yeah. But why am I the universe's active awareness? Because that, that's all there is. Like, mm-hmm. you, you, you have, like, active awareness, and then you have filters, right? Okay. So, like... Um, like your past is a filter, your genetic makeup's a filter, okay. your physical body's a filter, All your, right. you know what I mean? Your parents uh-huh. are a filter. And then that active awareness is able to peer through those filters. Uh-huh. So at the end of all of those filters, you come up with an idea of yourself. And this idea okay. is created by the mind. Okay. Does that make sense? All right. But if you tear down all the filters, all you are is the awareness. Because when you're so a good explanation, a good, good good example, when you're in the zone, when you're playing basketball, you're not thinking about all those filters. Mm-hmm. You're just acting according to your awareness, okay. your active awareness, right? All right. You're like, okay, pass me the ball. All right, got the ball. Shoot, oh, da, 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 right? You're you're, or uh, the best description is through martial arts because that's what I do. But if you're like, if you're engaging in martial arts, you um, you, you have to go into that zone of like active awareness. Mm-hmm. Make sense? Uh, I'm not e- thinking about the filters. I'm not thinking about who am I. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's what we all are. We're just like, we're that act of awareness dancing within tangible reality. Dancing because like you're there and I'm there and I have to figure out how to move accordingly. Then we have this like computer in front of us. Like, okay, this computer's used for this. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, like we're, we're like, we're in it. We're in tangible reality. Uh huh. But we are just, at the end of the day, awareness. And when we die, all those filters die with us. Okay. The the awareness may may remain because it's just the universe's awareness. But oh, I see what you're trying to say. Um, makes nah, sense. I'm just I'm just the cells of the universe, or all that stuff no, that make up the universe. That's how I view it. I don't no, want to view just, it more than uh, I don't want to add the word awareness. I think it's just a different connotation to it. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So, you, okay. So you don't want to call it awareness. So what would you call it? What do you call the thing that you're peering through the your eyes with? What, what, do you, what do you call the thing that you're peering through your eyes with? Peering through the eyes with? Yeah. I don't know. Pupils? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like you're, you're watching the game, right? Right. So, like, who, like, who is the thing that's watching the game? Who is the thing? No, no. What, what, what is? What's that thing that you're using? Wouldn't you call it awareness? Uh, yeah, but I, it's not. What is it like seeing? I, but like, like I don't want to say. Yeah, but I don't. Once you're, I think once you're dead, the it's all gone, man. Yeah, no, no. Because there's no more filters for your awareness to look through. Okay, so I'm just part of the universe. That's all. It that's is. what. That's why I said the universe is active awareness. Right. I just think that the word awareness has different meanings and different. Maybe I understand it as a different thing. It's it's because it's got a, a bad association yeah. with the the spiritual. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying I'm, I'm that, part of the universe. That in itself is a filter. What? The the perception of um, 
the um, the perception of um, awareness being that 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 word uh-huh. that's like negatively connotated with yeah it's a filter so uh-huh like, yeah it's your, just a word though but yeah no no I, I know I know but I'm saying that's like a filter in the way of you you seeing it right okay um, does it make sense uh I, I I get it I know what you're saying yeah, yeah. I just don't like to use that word <laughs> okay so if I come up with another word sure you will, you will agree with it I'm just the universe man yeah still I, end up going back um the uh this will always stick with me. circle of life that's ne- all it is neil degrasse tyson what did he say yeah hydrogen car he's like do you know what the most predominant elements mm. in the universe are hydrogen carbon i think it's nitrogen i think nitrogen yeah. helium there's like five something like that right yeah. and then he's like do you know what the most pro- predominant elements in your human body are he said the exact same five yeah you are the universe yeah boom yeah that's what i'm trying to say so until next time, realize that there's a filter that you're peering through. Yeah. Even listening to this, you're thinking about... Except for these guys. These guys will die. These this, drones. These drones? Yeah. They, they don't just, think. They just they do. They just do. <laughs> <laughs> it's because they're built by the code, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or maybe they do have awareness. Who knows? If we give them that. Ooh. AI. So you, oh. So you think awareness is... Uh, is a uh, creation? I don't know. <laughs> it may happen to them in a thousand years or a million years by themselves. When somebody when somebody figures out. Uh, Actually, no, that wouldn't happen. Yeah, because they have to put in their code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. It's like we don't have the precursor for. That's just going to be a whole other topic. We'll, we'll save that yeah. as a philosophical yeah. discussion for next time. <laughs> so till next time. All right. Peace. Take it easy. Bye. Bye.